This video was made possible through a grant from the Haas Corporation. The Geek Group would like to thank Haas for their continued support in helping encourage innovation in design and manufacturing in America. The Geek Group proudly features ISCAR tooling in all of our workshops, videos, and hackerspaces around the globe. Hello guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Ms. Car Rick. Welcome to the Geek Group. In today's CNC video, a fundamental thing you need to know about, spindle warm-up. Mm -hmm. Because dimensional stability. Dimensional stability. That's my $5 phrase for the day. $5 phrase? Hey. <laughs> so spindle warm-up mm -hmm. is what people have to do when, they, when, when you're getting ready to use a machine. This yeah, when you come in in the morning and things are cold, it's been sitting all night, machine's cold, you gotta warm it up. Okay, mm -hmm. why? Uh, dimensional stability. You know, what does that mean? That means that um, the, the steel grows as it gets warm and, and everything comes into, into play. It's warmed up like your car in the morning. It doesn't run well when it's cold. Okay. When it gets warmed up, it runs better. Same thing. It's a little thing. bit different here. With this stuff, steel, when it gets warm, expands. It expands by six millionths of an inch per degree per inch. That's correct. It, it yep. grows as you go. And with this machine, parts of it get really, really warm when it's running. And it's, it's crazy, crazy accurate. So to make it work, you have to have everything at an even homogeneous temperature. Operating temperature. Okay. Yep. So if you come in and it's like 40 degrees and you start running parts. They can be off, especially it, if it's precision stuff. And, and as, it, as you go through the day, like the parts at the beginning of the day will be different from the parts. That's yeah. right. And then you're chasing offsets, trying to make up for the differences for the thermal expansion that happens in the machine. And you could have just fixed all this if you just you warmed, just warmed the up, up the spindle and yeah. Okay. You come in the morning, turn it on, get your coffee, and by the time you hit, you're, you're ready to start running, the machine's ready to go. That's a good system. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how, how often do you have to do this? Um, every morning. Okay. If you do, yeah, if you're working on stuff every morning. Okay. Yep. Um, and if it's like, if it's high EM, if it's tight tolerance stuff, it's absolutely, right. you know. And a lot of times if you go to lunch and the machine's not running, run a cycle before you go to lunch. So your okay. machine stays warm. Because if you're gone for half an hour, you know, it's so, okay, that's your last part, I'm going to lunch. You go to lunch, you come back, well, make it run one more time. It's about a 20 minute cycle. Okay. 10 minutes isn't going to hurt anything. Okay. Especially if you're running really tight stuff. Okay. Yep. Now, if you're doing loose stuff where it's it's really simple things. Sure. I've heard that the max number of days you can go without doing this, like you can go days, but it's like four, like if the machine hasn't been used in four days, no yeah, matter I, what you're doing, yeah, you have up. to run a, a warm-up. Right. It's yeah. just good, good common sense machining practice. Okay. Yeah. Like but, making sure things are clean before you set them up. You just make it a habit and it works. Okay. The machine will last longer. You'll make better parts, stay in business. This is a good system. Yeah, it's so, a good system. So we're going to tell people the start of every shift. Yeah. Every day. Yep. Okay. Um, now, there's a, a specific program number for this. Um, you can make it anything you want, but I believe they come from the factory with a default program in them. Okay. And the program number is 02020. Yep. Okay. And the same in every one of them. And it says right in their spindle warm up yep. with the description. Okay. And people, by the time they get to this point, they know to just, they know how to load the program. It's right. really simple. Okay. Um, what else do we have to cover? You should make a copy of this program. Okay. You know, things happen. Things they might be deleted. <laughs> you might overwrite it. Okay. Something like that. So make a copy of it and store it someplace. Just keep it on thumb drive or something. Something. Okay. Just so you have it. Just good backup. Yep. Okay. Because um, that never happens. Also, depending on the machine, I've heard this. I haven't seen it done, but I've heard that depending on the machine, you might want to edit the program and tweak it. No. Yeah. Maybe you don't need to run it as long. Maybe your shop doesn't do aircraft work. Okay. You don't have to run it as long. Instead of 20 minutes, 15 is fine. Or maybe you want to run a little longer, depending. Or you edit it if you're going to let it run through lunchtime. You know, let it run through lunch. Give it some more time. Just let it spin. The yeah, you can set it like yep. you're going to lunch for an hour. You just sure. let it because it's not going to hurt anything. No. It's, nope. Okay. On the editing it mm -hmm. thing, why would you want to edit it? Uh, for the spindle speed for your machine. Your machine might have a higher or lower spindle speed than what it came from the factory with this program. Oh, like if you're running certain parts and sure. you're always running a high, a high spindle speed. speed. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you just, you crank it up to like, if you're always spinning crazy, like if you're doing the HEM stuff where mm -hmm. the spindle speeds are really high. Yep. You could set your warm up to take it up a notch. To, yeah, to kick it up to okay. that point. You want to start low and work its way up. That's yeah. that's built into the program for the different RPM. So you could, if you have to go really high, instead of like changing the last one in there to crazy high, yes. just add some more steps. Sure. Take it yep. up gentle. It, take it up gentle. Exactly okay. right. Cool. And match the timings and sure. the jumps that are. It's easy. In there. Just yeah. copy and paste. All right. So normally when we talk about code like this, we talk mm -hmm. about we run the program. Sure. Let's dig into the program a little bit. All right. But I understand it's spindle warm up, so it, it it's not all it does is turn the spindle. spindle. There's nothing. Right. Um, question: 
Does it matter if you have a tool in it or not? Um, I don't think it does, but you know, like when we talked about parking the machine at night, taking the yeah. tool out. Yeah, so it shouldn't have a tool in it in the morning. Every time I see somebody doing this, there's no tool in it. And right. I didn't know if that mattered at all. No, or... there shouldn't be a tool in it in the morning. If you come in, there shouldn't be a tool in the spindle. spindle lock. That's right. Yeah, yeah it, makes, uh, it sweats and gets dirty, and it's just not good machining practice. Um, what is on the code here? We've got the it's GO4 P200. What's the P200? The GO4, the GO4 is a dwell, okay. and the P is the time. The 200 in this case is two minutes. Okay, so, so this means set the spindle S500, spin at 500, 500 RPM, M3R, spindle forward. Um, GO4 is just. Then hang out, wait for two minutes. Okay. All right, and then after two minutes is up, we're going to jump to 1,000 RPM. Okay. And then we're going to wait for another two minutes, 2,500, wait for two minutes, and up we go. Okay. And so on and so forth. Normally in these videos, we run the program. This is. This is going to be the most boring program right. ever, but let's show them. Sure. Just turn it on. And, and we're spinning. Sp spindle's running. Okay, That's and, you, it. and it's got on here, you can see it counting. This yep. is the dwell down here. We're counting down from 200 yes. seconds. Yep. Okay, and it's just gonna, it's just gonna chill. Yep, hang out and relax. Every now and then it's gonna shift into second gear in, in a couple minutes. Right. All right. So that's it's it. Thrilling video. Thrilling. I think, I think we should just let this run through the whole thing and let everybody watch it. All right. I got time. You wanna go get coffee or something? Um, okay. Okay. We can do that while the spindle warms up. Yeah, we can do that. we'll go to lunch. Okay. All right, cool. All right, guys, so that's everything there is to know about spindle warm-up. It's a very simple but very important thing for you to do at the start of every workday. So, I'm Chris Bowden. I'm Iskar Rick. And as always, we'll see you next time. The Geek Group would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the Gene Haas Foundation for making this program possible. Thanks to their generous contribution, we are able to train and inspire machinists all around the globe. This video was made possible in part by Mastercam, whose CAD CAM software provides the base to all code generated for Geek Group CNC projects. Operating the CNC machines in this video risks personal injury and mechanical damage. Hazards may include electricity, untrained operation, airborne toxins, flying debris and noise, fire and explosions, poor shop upkeep, sharp tooling, projectiles, loose clothing, inadequate clamping, Automatic operation, automatic tool changer, unsupported bar, over tightened steady rest, lack of enclosure, and impact. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.